Hey everyone, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to install a wireless PCI card into your desktop PC. Now I'm gonna be using an N900 wireless card today, and I'll include links to all the items I'm using in the description below. So let's jump into the list of items you'll need and the first step in installing your wireless card. All right, pretty simple list. You're gonna need screwdrivers that are appropriate for the screws on your computer case, and I'm gonna be using an anti-static wristband, which is optional, but highly recommended. First step, I'm gonna turn off the power supply. I'm gonna remove one of the screws from my power supply because they're all painted, and I'm gonna replace it with a unpainted screw where I can attach my anti-static wrist strap to it. Next step, we're gonna remove the side panel off of the computer case. Mine is tempered glass, so be careful with what you got. This is where I'm gonna put on my anti-static wristband because I'm gonna start reaching inside of the case and around a lot of important components. All right, and with the wristband on, we're gonna remove the slot cover. Only remove the cover for the slot you're gonna use. I'm gonna be using today the appropriate four lane PCI Express slot for this particular card, but you can utilize the eight or the 16 lane if you want to. A lot of people recommend that you put it as low as possible so the antenna doesn't get stuck in the other wiring that's above it. Now I'm gonna remove the bracket cover so we can easily navigate installing the card into the correct slot. And I'll even give you a little wipe around view here so you can see the slot and the cover I removed. It's the second one up from the bottom and you can see right there it correlates to the cover that is gone. All right, moment of truth. We're gonna navigate the wireless card into the slot and you're gonna see on the adapter connectors gap, it should correlate to the slot gap. Then you just gently push it in until it's completely seated. And you can be sure because this metal framing will align with the bracket and the screw you're gonna put in in the next step. The screw you remove for the slot cover goes back in except now to secure the wireless adapter in place. And then we put on the bracket cover itself. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we just attach and position the three antenna that came with it. They just screw on like normal clockwise. And then we just position it by bending it at its joint. And there you have it. You got your new hardware in position. Well done. But you're not quite done yet because we got to install the drivers still. So let's put our siding back on, turn on the power supply, and turn on the computer. This is where the manual for whatever wireless device you decided to buy comes in handy. Now, if you bought the exact same one I got, you can just follow along with this. But here we go. We're going to install the drivers for the TP-Link wireless adapter that I purchased. Click, click, clickety, clackety, and we're waiting. It's gonna pull up when it's done, your wireless networks that are available, and you just go ahead and type in your password, log in, and boom, you're good to go. Everything's done, congratulations. Here I have the signal strength as it is showing on the Wi-Fi analyzer that comes now with Windows 10. There you guys go, hope you got your cards installed successfully. Any questions, give me a comment below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for tuning in to Drive By Reviews.